this is MTG Burgeoning, and this is the Bonus Sheet Bonanza. We have Strixhaven, which has the Mystical Archive. The Brothers War has retro-bordered artifacts and Transformer cards. March of the Machine has Multiverse Legends. Wilds of Eldraine has Enchanting Tales. The Lost Caverns of Ixalan has Special Guests and Jurassic Park Jurassic World cards. Outlaws of Thunder Junction have... Special Guests, which also Lost Caverns of Ixalan has. And Outlaws also has Big Score and the Wanted series. And of course, as always, we have our mystery pack here. And all seven of these packs could have list cards. Our goal here is to crack open these packs, check out our bonus sheet hits, and then sit back and revel in their glory. All right, here we go. We're going to kick things off with Strixhaven, and we are hoping to pull a Demonic Tutor from the Mystical Archive, or maybe a Teferi's Protection. Those are the biggins. Let's see what we get. We're going to start things off with an art card that looks most disturbing. All right, we're going to go right past that. Planes, Pest Summoning, Professor's a Warning, Promising Dusk Mage, already into our uncommons, Tend the Pests, Dina Soul Steeper, Deadly Brew, Brackish Trudge, Devouring Tendrils, and our rare is Accomplished Alchemist. This will take us to the Mystical Archive hit in our car. Um, hit. This will take us to our Mystical Archive card, which is going to be Compulsive Research. Behind that, we have a foil bio mathematician as a common and an elemental token. So we did get a mystical archive, of course. It just was not a very good hit. So there's our rare of accomplished alchemist and our compulsive research. So Strixhaven, you feel like a bit of a whiff. All right, Brothers War, it's up to you to course correct and get us on track to both value and playability. Art card is here, and we have, it's a blueprint showcase. All right, basic mountain. Sitinel stalwart, raised to the ground. Lauren's escape, and we're into our uncommons already. Steel exemplar, spectrum sentinel, repair and recharge. Hero of the Dunes, and that brings us to Thran Vigil, and our, and our Retro Border Artifact card should be behind here, which is Burnished Heart. Oh. All right, behind that we have Autonomous Assembler. All right, another rare artifact. A common foil and disfigure. Oh, a list hit in acidic soil. All right, deals one damage to each player for each land they control. We get a list hit. And there is our retro bordered artifact. Not a rare artifact. Of course, that was a little bit of a misleading notion when I was saying another rare artifact. It was just another one from a pack. Not necessarily talking about the retro hit. All right, but we got a list card. So chalk up a hit list to this video. Next up is March of the Machine, and we're looking for a Ragged Man, and we get a second list hit, and this one is a rare, and that's coming from the original Commander set back in 2011. I believe this was from the Heavenly Inferno set. That was the Kalia Mardu set, which coincidentally was my very first Commander deck. This is the great card, Crescendo of War. At the beginning of each upkeep, we put a Strife counter on Crescendo of War, and attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero for each Strife counter on it. And that's not just ours. Blocking creatures we control get plus one, plus zero for each Strife counter on Crescendo of War. Not a very well-known card, but definitely a good one in the right kind of deck. Behind that, we have a foil common of Crystal Carapace. And behind there, we have Jiru and Hazaret. That is our rare for the pack. Behind that, we have Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. That will be our multi-legends pull. There is our battle. It is Invasion of Belanon. And after that, we have Pyretic Prankster, Copper Host Crusher, Phyrexian Gargantua, Bola Slinger, Seed of Hope, Arachnoid Adaptation, Deadly Derision, and a Foil Island, in addition to our art card. All right, there we have it. Rona is a bit of a disappointment for our 
a multiverse legend, but that crescendo of war makes up for that beautifully. All right, there we go. Next pack up, the Wilds of Eldraine. Here we go, looking for a doubling season. Boy, would that be a nice pull. We're going to kick things off with a garbage card, a foil common follows of Merry Bards. After that, we have Ground Seal. That is our enchanting tale. Our rare is Decadent Dragon. And then we have Tenacious Tome Seeker, High Fey Negotiator, Soul Guide Lantern, Charmed Clothier, Protective Parent, Witch's Mark, Merfolk Coral Smith, Plunge into War, a Basic Mountain, and... Our art card, so a rather muted, rather tame pack from the Wilds of Eldrain. One not-so-great enchanting tale, and our rare. All right, let's hope that the Lost Caverns of Ixalan can pick up the slack laid down by the Wilds of Eldrain. Come on, Ixalan, we got a list hit here in Cinder Elemental. We're five packs in, three list hits. All right, there we go. X in red, tap and sacrifice, X damage to any target. Is there anything more red than Cinder Elemental? After that, ooh, foil rare of Tarion's Soul Cleaver. Legendary equipment for one mana. Equipped creature has vigilance. And whenever another artifact or creature is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on equipped creature. Seems like we can do a lot of pretty perverse things with that equipment. And after that, another rare in Poetic Ingenuity. That is a very, very nice enchantment to put in a changeling deck. After that, oh, look at this, another rare, three straight rares, this one in a fantastic showcase treatment, Restless Reef, yes, Lost Caverns, you have saved this day. And then we have another sweet showcase card in Nikanzo Current, can't read Current conduct Conductor, maybe, the artwork is kind of blurring out the letters, and we're going to go with Current Conductor, looks awfully sweet. Malamet War Scribe Helping Hand, Dauntless Dismantler Out of Air, Runaway Boulder, Brazen Blade Master, Tectonic Hazard, Promising Vein, and our art card close out that pack. Wow, a list hit and triple rares. Boy, oh boy, that was very, very nice. No special guests or no Jurassic Park or Jurassic World cards. So from a bonus sheet standpoint, not the strongest, but from a power level standpoint, thank you, Caverns. All right, Outlaws of Thunder Junction, show us what you've got, baby. There's our art card. All right, hey, that's Bruce Tarl. I love that guy. Full Art Planes. Foil Common of Quick Draw. Next up, oh, Hindering Light is our Wanted or our Prosperity card. After that, ooh, Mythic. All right, nice pull there with Jace Reawakened. All right, a two-mana Planeswalker. We'll take it. Shifting Grift, Lassoed by the Law. Jolene, Plundering Pugilist. Ankle Biter, Harrier Strix, Bristle Pax Sentry, Consuming Ashes, Dead Eye Duelist, Drover Grizzly, and Mystical Tether. Nothing extra bonus other than the Prosperity Light and that sweet, sweet Jace card. All right, that's going to bring us to our bonus pack, which is oh, Battle for Baldur's Gate. Let's get an ancient dragon baby. Come on, let's get it going on. All right, that's Tasha, I think, right? Yeah, Tasha is our art card. Basic Swamp. Oh, Ganex. I saw it. I thought it might have been one of them. All right, Ganex is there. Sky Diamond, Merit, Predatory Impetus, Gray Slad, Javelin of Lightning, Drillworks Mole is our first uncommon. Dungeon Delver, Imowin Mystic Trickster, Rilsa Rael, Kingpin, and that takes us to Veteran Soldier, which is our background, and behind this should be our hopefully first rare mythic. It's a foil etched of Popular Entertainer, our second background of the pack. And then we have Dynahair Invoker Adept, behind which we have a foil Common Sturge, and oh, a Boar Token. What a whiff of a pack there. 
unsurprisingly, from a Battle for Baldur's Gate set pack. There you have it, MTGBC. Ixalan is the winner. You let us know what you think in the comments section below.